Okay, so today we're going to be talking about weight and mass. So as we've discussed in class, weight and mass are two very different things, right? The mass of an object is how much matter is contained within the object. So we remember that every atom in your body has its own mass and we can add up all the atoms mass to determine the mass of the object, right? So as we move from planet to planet and gravity pulls on those uh, atoms um, with varying uh, degrees of magnitude, uh, the mass doesn't change, right? Because the number of atoms in the object hasn't changed. So mass um, will stay the same, whereas weight is a measure of the force of gravity acting on that object. And so therefore, the weight of an object will change if you uh, test that weight on various planets, right? So uh, when we talk about weight in this class, we're gonna be talking about weight in Newtons because weight is a measure of force, the force of gravity and force is measured in Newtons, right? So we'll be talking about weight as it um, relates to being measured in Newtons. Okay, so what is weight? Well, weight is a measure of the force of gravity acting on an object. And it's SI unit of measure. Remember SI stands for like International System of Units. It's the standard recognized unit um, by a scientific community. So this SI unit of measurement for weight is a Newton, right? So that's the unit that we use when we talk about it in science. Uh, so remember that a Newton is the um, amount of force that it would take to accelerate a one kilogram object at an acceleration of one meter per second squared. Or in terms of a unit conversion, one Newton is equal to one kilogram meters per second squared. Looks like this. And you'll see this when we work on the math in a bit. How do we calculate weight? Well, we get a new triangle. Uh, recall that weight is the same thing as force of gravity. So sometimes you may see F of G, um, F sub G, or sometimes you might see uh, weight, W here. So it doesn't matter, it's the same thing. Um, and it is equal to mass times the acceleration due to gravity. So let's take a look at a sample problem. So if we're calculating um, uh, the weight in Newtons of a 15 kilogram mass, right? So we're gonna list out our known variables. So we know that the mass is 15 kilograms. And because it doesn't say whether or not we are on a different planet, we will assume we are on earth where the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. And we're solving for F sub G or weight in Newtons. So we give our formula. So our uh, formula is gonna be mass times the acceleration due to gravity. So we plug in our known variables and we end up with an answer of 147 Newtons because we're multiplying 15 times 9.8. So notice what happened with my units here. I have kilograms times meters per second, right? Kilograms times meters per second squared, sorry. Um, gives us Newtons, right? So we can go straight from kilogram times meters per second squared to our unit in Newtons. All right, let's look at one more. So we have a man who weighs 700 Newtons. What is his mass in kilograms? So we list out our known variables. Our um, F sub G is 700 Newtons. And again, G is gonna be acceleration due to gravity on earth, 9.8 meters per second squared and we're solving for mass. So if we go up to our triangle, we can cover up mass and we see that it's F sub G over G like that. So now we can plug in our variables. So we plug in 700 um, kilogram meters per second. So notice what I did there is I went straight from Newton's and in my problem, I put it in kilogram meters per second squared, right? Because I can substitute like this which allows me to cross cancel my meters per second squared away because I have one on top and one on bottom, leaving me with kilograms, which is what I want since I'm solving for mass. And that's gonna give me an answer of 71.43 kilograms as my final answer. All right, so you're gonna have lots of opportunities to practice this. Um, sometimes you'll be solving for mass, sometimes you'll be solving for uh, weight in Newtons, and sometimes you might even be solving for gravity if the situation is not on Earth. All right, let me know if you have questions.